it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Alright you guys, now before we start, I want to share this company with you guys. I've had the privilege of working with them for the second time now because they are so awesome. It is Bright Sellers, okay? Now, where are all my 21 and up people at? Look, look at the box. This is for you. Now, have you ever wanted to drink wine but don't know what wine to drink or if it's good or not good, if it's sweet, if it's bitter? Well, Bright Cellars is a monthly wine club that helps people discover wines that they will love. Guaranteed to love, okay? So what they're gonna ask you to do is you have to take a quiz. Now when you take the quiz, it's not long. It's like a little questionnaire and it's going to help you, well, the algorithm, pick wines for you off of your taste profile that's gonna be guaranteed that you like it, okay? Now, when you open up this box, this beautiful box, look, ooh, like a little treasure chest. The wines are always so beautiful, always so beautiful. And once you open it, they're going to have cards in here, in the box for you. And what those cards do for you, they have what the wine is best paired with, what's in the wine, it just, it's like a, a cheat sheet, I guess, <laughs> to help you know what you're drinking and what to drink it with. Now, no worries. If you get one of these wines and you don't like it and it wasn't what you thought it was, that is okay. They will replace it for you. So don't worry about it, okay? Child, it's okay. They're here to help you. They want you to be satisfied. This is all about you, baby. All about you. Now, listen, let me give you a secret. The more you give feedback on your wine, the better your matches will be month to month. And you know how people always want you to subscribe to stuff. Your subscription is flexible. If you have to skip a month, it is all right. They will work with you. And at any time that you want to swap your wine out, you're like, oh, you know what? Uh-uh, I don't want that one. Then swap it out. No worries. They are here for you. So listen, 21 and up. You want to drink wine? Click the link in my description box. You will get 60% off of your first four bottle box, okay? So that's like, what? $38 for four bottles. You can't beat that, girl. And it's top of the line for you. Go get your wine, because you know I like to drink my wine when I'm doing mess to Monday. All right. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Like always, we have made it through another week and we're back to Monday. It's like the weeks are just flying by. You blink and it's Monday. You sleep and it's Monday. Bitch, you walk outside, it's Monday. Jesus, what happened to the weekend? Anyway, I want to thank y'all so much for returning faithfully every Monday. For those who are new, please hit that notification bell and subscribe so you can know when I post a video, okay? Also, hit the thumbs up, like, 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 go in the comment, and like I tell you every time, cuss a bitch out if you got to. Slap her with a word. I don't like you. Your profile picture is ugly, bitch. Whatever. Anyway, um, before we start, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Jazzy. Hey, bitch. Jazzy, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. You were the first to comment on my Twitter, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, so I am taking the time out to show you my appreciation. So thank you, girl. I love you, and yeah. Hey, bitch. It is time for y'all's favorite segment, and that is the shits, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First, the sugar honey iced tea, we got life with Kel. If this ain't some light skin shit, I don't know what it is. Now, I don't know what Kel been going through, 
But a lot of people been saying since him and Famous Ocean broke up, they forgot who we was and woo 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 and yada yada yada. And I'm just like, girl, the name did get real quiet when him and Ocean broke up. But you know, he was fooling with that little other helper. What's her name? Uh, the little brown skin little girl. Um, you know, the one that everybody was hyping his head up about. But girl, they dropped the song, I thought. And I don't know how it did. But I don't know, it ain't none of my business. <laughs> she was doing all that hoop hollering talking and shit. And the song didn't do as much as she was hooping and hollering. Anyway, the fight was better than the song, wasn't it? <laughs> so Kel, I guess, has been going through something behind the scenes and he told the people on his Instagram that he was taking a break. He said, thank y'all for this journey. It has been amazing. Y'all gave me everything I wished for since I was little. From young to old, I love y'all sincerely, Kale. And now, <laughs> y'all are so fucking evil. Y'all was in the comments like that, okay, bye. Damn, can y'all just wish him a farewell and hope that his mental state is okay? Y'all just like, okay, and who cares? It's the fuck. We got shit going on too. <laughs> but anyway, so he wished a farewell. A fan turned around and wrote, I seen that shit because he put his song up there. And then they said, well, the beginning only. <laughs> He said, which I this is the end. And I think he meant like this is the end of the road for his career. When she mean like I think the beginning. I don't know, you know. I guess he was trying to be shady, but it didn't work the way he thought it was gonna work. He then goes and he posts disappear. I'm like, okay, so is he Houdini? Is, he, is this a magic trick? What's going on? Like disappear? Like that means gone forever. Man, it's poop finito. Adios, amigo. You know, I'm like, what's what's crack like it? So then I'm thinking like, okay, well maybe hold on though. Is this his 13 reasons why? <laughs> because if it is, we need to take this. <laughs> because if it is, we need to take this a little bit more seriously. Because I'm just trying to figure out, disappear. What are you telling us here? Is this a cryptic message? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Whatever. Ciao! Five days later, he comes back <laughs> and he said, time to start new beginnings. <laughs> Nigga, did the other shit even get a chance to decay? We're still reflecting. <laughs> We're still reflecting on you talking about <laughs> you gotta disappear. We're trying to figure out, is he sick? Is it hurt? We're figuring out what's going on with the Disappear Act. <laughs> you just danced like a bird on the stage with a magician, and then you want to say new beginnings? Did it even form a cocoon? <laughs> Did the worm turn into a butterfly? <laughs> what the fuck? They take longer than you did. <laughs> Let's, let's be serious. He needed a break. Thank y'all for giving me the break that I needed. Now it's time to take over. <laughs> Thank goodness. Can you have just not post on Instagram for three days and then come back and say it's a takeover? I don't know. What did you take over in five days? I mean, okay, you know what? It ain't none of my business. Next time, just take a break on your own time, okay? We don't need to know because it didn't give what it was supposed to have gave. <laughs> anyway. All right. It ain't about me. There's no fear. Kill didn't disappear. Next game. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Lindsay Shaw. So for those who don't know who Lindsay Shaw is, she was on a TV show called Nez to Classify. So anyway, there's a dance. It's a trend on TikTok. And you know, everybody know, majority of the dances that are on TikTok are created by the black creators. Lindsay thinks it'll be okay, which I didn't think it was bad, but what made it bad was what she did after that. You know what I'm saying? So she made a um, video. Hey, are we okay? What the fuck is this? I see. Now, that would have been fine because what you were looking for is what you got, okay? You got the attention. You got the hate comments. All your people in the comments were bashing the dance. Like, oh my God, yeah, this is stupid. Black people. It was a lot of negative things towards the black folks in the video. And you got the attention you wanted for that video. That was the purpose of the video. 
But what made it not sit right with people was when your co-worker, co-star, whatever, did the exact same dance, but you glorified him. dumb dance stupid and whatever we come to and the black folks did it but when your co-worker did it it was a hey, get it now it's like you're amping it up for him but decrediting the people who made the dance so child when the black folks stick together and when we come as one ain't no stopping us she understood who our ancestors were honey and this is what she had to say okay I just have to say right now that the hate in my inbox is not okay, okay? I did not mean anything in any kind of way. I am learning every day, as I think everybody is. And this kind of hate just needs to evaporate from the planet, no matter who it's directed towards. Crocodile tears? No, dude. Like, this is like my soul out there if you know anything about what i stand for or what i believe in you know that it's not this i am sorry you were offended i think we all need to vibrate higher for the future and i know i'm gonna keep learning i think like for my own mental health i need to take a step back from social media i kind of felt like that anyway but it's like I'm not trying to talk about you, baby, but bitch, was we supposed to believe that? Uh-uh, now, now, come on. Now, anybody could, bitch, at this point, you must have watched a lot of um, CJ So Cool videos because that shit right there was a fucking fool. I know you fucking lying. And so now I'm just seeing him like, no, they didn't make this girl cry. They done made this girl cry. These children done made this girl cry. So then what made the matters worse is, her co-workers came up and they were having her defense. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just saying, girl, take the video down. It's fucked up, whoop, whoop, whoop. They make videos like, you know, defending why she did it. Instead of just saying, girl, take it down. Just take it down, fuck it, whatever. You know, and it kind of made people upset that they were defending her and trying to make what she did okay. Okay. Hey, Lindsay, what it, what it do? Yeah, it's me, your, your one black friend, uh-huh. Yeah, let society tell it. Hey, uh, so check this out. You done got yourself into a bit of a pickle, all right? You, you fumbled the hell out of that bag, right? I can't make no promises, but I think we can soften the blow a little bit. You might have to release that sex tape from 07. Oh, no, no? You, you, you say you feel like that'll over-sexualize black bodies and we, we shouldn't participate in that? Okay, okay, we'll keep that under wraps. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, what if we... Yes, yes, exactly. That's what I'm... I knew you took the words right out of my mouth. We advocate for reparations for American descendants of slaves. You're a genius. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're on it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But child, I don't know. I ain't said nothing else since then. I hope she learned her lesson. <laughs> Just... Stay out of black folk business. <laughs> if they want, they want to dance on top of a chicken coop. Bitch, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, if they want to backpedal in a pool and then do a split onto a porcupine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Stay out of their business. Anyway, they said the folks been canceled, they canceled. They said they're canceling. <laughs> they're canceling everybody. At the rate we going, we going to have shit to watch, shit to listen to, shit to dance to, shit to talk about. Because everything going to be canceled. What the fuck is we going to do? I hope all y'all canceling folks got some shit planned up and stashed away. Because at this point, the creators y'all are canceling, bitch. We ain't going to have nothing to look at. Anyway. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. That's the sugar honey iced tea we have. <laughs> That's the sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> Next for the sugar honey iced tea we have Chris Sam. <laughs> 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 Chris S
Chris Dale. Chris. You know, you know, you know the fuck what? I, I don't know who, I don't know who's more annoying. You are CJ so cool. Y'all, y'all too. It, every day is tough. Something, you know what? One thing Chris gonna do is Chris gonna make sure he record and he gonna record. So let's get into it. Chris, he took to his Instagram and he posted, and the caption was last, last night. <laughs> last night, I <laughs> stop. It's not supposed to be funny. Last night I flew out. <laughs> Sorry. Last night I flew off of a cliff, speeding. And to be honest, how fast I was going, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. And my thing was, why the hell are you going that fast anyway? It was just me in the car, but the experience showed me how fast your life can go. So I'm grateful to still be here and thank God. Well, Chris, let me tell you something. Karma paid you a visit, and this is how she was. Remember when your bitch ass faked that accident and you was in the hospital and had everybody upset and you had a little monitor on you, little beep beep sounds that you recorded? Well, bitch, I had to come see about you. Fuck, nigga. Period. Holla. <laughs> so, Karma paid him a visit, but my thing is this. What clip did you fly out of? Was it a pothole? Because that car got baby dance. <laughs> if you flying off a cliff, you gonna fly off a cliff. That front needs to be smashed in. Nigga, you hit a speed bump and lost control. That's what happened, Chris. If you hit a tree, just say that. <laughs> if Bambi ran in front of your car and you just did a little 360, <laughs> say that. If you try to dodge a squirrel, say that. But to fly off a cliff, Chris, what movie was you sh What movie was you shoot? Does it show one fast and the furious? You know what, Chris? I'm so over you, child. Chris just, Chris talked just to talk. I think Chris did it on purpose. <laughs> oh, I love my Chris, but Chris, 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 Chris. You know, at the end of the day, I'm glad that he's okay because it could have ended worse. The um, deer or the squirrel could have passed and Chris, could be going to jail. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so he made a um, video to everybody. Thank you. Thanks to everybody who checked on me. I'm good. I'm just tired as hell. My head hurt. But uh, I ain't gonna lie that I was dead. I'm not even gonna lie. Thank God. For real, for I know I've been playing a lot. But I just really thank God. Like, well, my, to my car gone, cash out 40,000. This paid for the whole outright. Gone, these shoes gone. These was in a whole puddle. These is gone. My socks wet. Look at that. I'm shit wet. Look at that. I fell straight in the puddle. These pants gone. Going these away. Nigga, the water was up here. I ain't gonna. Hey, main event, y'all need to fix y'all lights on my mama. Cause I can now you cannot see that turn. Y'all need to get some street lights on my mama. I should sue y'all. And I'm just like, okay, Chris, that we see the watch. We know you we see the watch. And then he's talking like he finna get rid of the pants about time. It took a wreck for you to get rid of the pants. Them pants should have been gone. Clarence told you to get rid of them damn pants a year ago and you still got them. Like, child, okay, and the shoes. Throw them damn bitches in the uh dryer. Don't wear them again anyway. Watch, we gonna see them. But anyway, I'm glad Chris is good and I'm glad he's okay. And uh, don't fake your death or erect no more and you won't get in a real one, all right? Oh, okay. Anyway, if it ain't about me, let's be keep next. Okay. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we got to be so cool. Girl, we got another one. He in the hospital. One thing about CJ so cool, he go 
going to make sure he record everything. So, child, you're in the hospital telling everybody to pray for him. <laughs> he said he had to get back surgery. I don't know what the back surgery was for. Maybe he was picking up his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was picking up that dog and it was the dead the dead weight and he heard, it, heard the, the disc in his back. I don't know. But I'm glad he's okay. Oh my god. I'm glad he's okay. I was expecting Royalty to send her condolences to him being in the hospital, but I guess she didn't care too much about it, but I hope he's doing good. He made a post. Like, I just want to let my friends, family, supporters know that I was having my back problems and what I was going through, woo, woo, woo. And I'm just like, okay, girl, sparkles and champagne. Sparkles and champagne. VIP my section, royalty looking sexy, you know that be my thing. But all right, child. Um, it is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's get kicking this case. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Dan. Now, I've been told y'all. I said it, I called it, I knew it even before she got pregnant. I said she's going to get pregnant. I said it. And look what happened. We are now here and she's pregnant. Period. So I just want to know, is the baby the baby daddy? <laughs> Or was she fucking around with somebody else when they were so-called on a break? But there was never really a break. They just took a break from the media, period. Anyway, so she's pregnant. She had maternity pictures. They were beautiful. I can't lie, yellow bone look good. No shade, no tea. Yellow bone is serving in them pictures and she looked the fuck good, period. Can't even find nothing bad to say. Can't crack a joke. Mama look fucking good, period. So, um, she gonna be having the baby's baby, I guess, and that's the baby daddy. <laughs> Ooh, child, this is really something. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, I hope she don't be a single mother. In the caption she put three months ago, can't wait to meet you, my baby, and I think it was a typo. She meant can't wait to meet the baby. <laughs> so, it is what it is. And I'm just, it's just really baffling to me because I don't know where the baby is. It's just like, where's the baby daddy? <laughs> Okay, let's stop with the corny jokes. Congratulations, um, the baby. <laughs> it's like the baby gonna be pretty, but her baby's going to be pretty, whatever, whatever. All right. If it ain't about me, ooh, that'd be the gag. If the baby ain't the baby daddy. Hmm. Anyway, if it ain't about me, let's get Keenan's case. All right. That's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First with Duckett, we have Corlett. They had the XXL freshman thing or whatever the case may be where they freestyle and whatnot. And this is what she did. Okay, so after the internet was dragging her for her freestyle, she decides to go to her Twitter and she goes into her rants like she always do. And she says, a trending topic, trendsetter, let's talk about it. And I'll say it again, bitch, I'm here, hi, bitch. And I'm just like, okay, I'm all for people having confidence and high self-esteem and whatever the case may be. And if you don't support yourself, then who gonna support you? But there's one thing with having high self-esteem and just being cocky, arrogant, and not taking constructive criticism and just being an asshole about everything. It's time to humble yourself, sweetie, because girl, to be real, maybe somebody like your music. Somebody like it. Somebody out there like that. Five eggs in a row and we all get money repeatedly. Somebody like it, I don't know. Somebody like all that whispering and shit. I don't know, but let's just relax. Sometimes it's not what you do, it's how you say it. You thought I was about to spit the hottest fire flame? Let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> I feel like personally, I had the best double XL freestyle. You know, me and Lakia for show had the best double XL freestyle. Honestly, my whole class of the ciphers, I haven't even heard the ciphers, the other ciphers yet. And I know we had the best cipher, especially me. I should have kept going. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I ended it too early. You know, 
Yeah. I don't think I did nothing wrong but end it too early. 100%. I, I felt like I should have added at least six more bars of whatever. It don't even, you know what I'm saying? Just six more. Like Julia. You know I never made a fool, Leah. <laughs> or birds of a feather flock together. So then she goes on, she says, how y'all gonna tell me how the fuck I'm supposed to rap? They ain't no rule book. Well, first of all, they the ones that gotta buy it. And if nobody ain't buying it, then bitch, who gonna buy it? Now, ain't nobody telling you how to rap. They're just saying, fix it up. Just like with comedy, you can make a joke, but the joke may not hit. But if you go back and rewrite it and spice it up, then the joke can hit better. It's just, you know, I don't know. Some people just don't like constructive criticism, honey, if you wanna, you know, whatever. So instead of stopping there, she goes again and she does this. Got these people sick to their stomach. If the hate bring them money, tell these keep coming. Makes my haters with the grabber. Yeah, this mother busting. They 200K in a month off features is nothing. I stay humble, put my people on the map. Same skinny ticket. And now it's hard to get them back. I'm big, pretty baby. Yeah, this little pretty wet. I ain't even pulling up unless I come to collect. I make hits. Better tell these bitches I'm correct. I don't miss the only thing I ever miss is his neck. 80k for a verse. Still no album yet. I don't rap like these bitches. I don't dress like these bitches. I get money, keep women, stay minding my business. Every day I be trending. My mama good, I ain't tripping. Walking Aviani, put baguettes up in my crosses. Monty and Avery calling them only talking to bosses. How many artists you know that can walk up in their office? Lucian next door, bumping Coyle Ray, drinking coffee. I'm Coyle Ray, baby, you can never stop me. Hey, and don't get you money, you just mad because you not me. But low key, girl, you were hurt. You were hurt and you was embarrassed, and that's why you came back and you did this. Somebody can sit her down and talk to her. Watch what I'm telling y'all. If y'all keep doing this and she keep acting the way she acting, cussing y'all out, y'all cussing her out, y'all keep going back and forth, she gonna be the one to break, not social media. They gonna be fine. They gonna find the next person to go bully. Honey, let leave these folks alone and mind her own business, create her music and just focus, honey. These folks is probably 13, 12, 10, cussing you out. You over here trying to prove yourself to kids, teens. Anyway, if it ain't about me, Let's keep keeping this okay. Next on the docket, we got Cute Dog versus Jordan B. And it's all over. Now, bitch, this is some stupid shit. Some dumb shit. Both these birds is dumb. Because ain't no damn way y'all out here playing tag over a man that has not even got on social media to claim either one of you. Both of y'all, every month, every week, claim this man. And this man has not got on now social media, Instagram, Twitter, nothing, Facebook, nothing, not even a text message to say, Jordan is my baby, I love you. Cuban, you my baby, I love you. I ain't seen shit, I just seen you two dummies Posting him every time. And he is there in the picture just sitting like, these dumb motherfuckers. And the gag is, it's probably some other bitch in the cut that y'all don't even know about who's just like, these hoes, he letting them look dumb, but I'm fucking with them. And she dumb too if she in the cut. Anyway, y'all might as well be in a three-way relationship at this point because he ain't letting Cuban go and he ain't letting Jordan go. So y'all might as well shut the fuck up and deal with it. And Jordan, your dumb ass... Slow down, so we gonna get to it. Anyway, so his 23rd birthday passed. His mama posted something up. And then you got Jordan over here posting old pictures and shit and saying happy birthday and woo 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 yada yada yada. And 
And then I was like, bitch, it's finna happen. Both them trying to show their love and their affection on his birthday. These hoes finna get into it. And girl, they got into it. So Cuban goes to her Twitter and said, them bitches is dirt old. The only ones being taken now are all guard pictures. So then Jordan B comes up and she says, girl, he ain't even fuck with you for real. Girl, he don't even fuck with you for real, dummy. Because how the hell is he gonna fuck with you for real if he's still fucking with her? You wanna act like because he keep coming back to you that he's in love with you. No, fool. He just know that you gonna keep giving him some pussy and whenever he tired of yours, he gonna go to her. So bitch, both of y'all dummy, he don't fuck with neither one of you for real. He just fucks you for real. That's all it is, stupid. Bitch, you was used to get me off his mind, okay? And now you're being used to get her off of his mind. It, bitch, everything you're saying, you can reverse that shit back on you. Because if he was done with her and was really in love with you, girl, he wouldn't keep running back to her. Let's make it make sense, Jordan. Aren't you that 954 number that keep calling both of our phones? I answer why you ain't say nothing. Because girl, I guess you just feel like, you know, fuck it, I'm just not gonna talk to you. I called for him, so why the fuck is you answering? So then Cuban turned back around and said, girl, if I call, it's because he called me first. <laughs> Y'all. I ain't never seen nothing so, this is a double homicide. I ain't never seen nothing so stupid in my life. Bitch, at this point, y'all, y'all, you ain't got shit on them. Because these hoes have surpassed you. These, these, ooh, Jesus. Anyway. So here she goes, she says, if he fought with you for real, I wouldn't even be here. I would have never came back around if he didn't love me for real. Girl, if he loved you for real, that never would have been a her. If he loved you for real, he never would have pissed on you. If he loved you for real, you never would have been in jail with that baby in your stomach. If he loved you for real, he never would have beat on you with that baby in your stomach. Girl, if he loved you for real, you know what? I don't even need no more examples. Child, <laughs> if that's love, then I don't want it. She said, girl, pipe, slouch it, dirty ass down. At this point, you don't even know what the fuck you trying to say because you over there just trying to cuss for no reason because you really are upset that he still fuck with her. Pipe, slouch it, dirty ass down. Always coming for me like you want to bump pussies or something, rat face ass. Now, Jordan. You can't talk about nobody face. <laughs> Stay focused though. So Cuban responds with the old dumb hole. Stop putting your face in the nigga. He gonna let you down every time. Well, obviously he lets you down too every time because you the one that went on live drunk as hell talking about how much you loved him but then tried to come back and just put it on oh I was drunk no girl you was in your feelings because this man that you said on live you don't show me the love that I thought you were supposed to show me and you just treat me so wrong and they thought you loved me girl you going through the same shit she going through you just ain't hit rock bottom yet sweetie but anyway let's keep it moving so then Jordan turns around and says hoes lose their morals for a rapper no bitch you know what at this point, I can wrap up Messy Monday. We could just go home, cause this hoe is reading herself. She thinks she's trying to read Cuban, but bitch, you reading yourself. Hoes forget their morals for rappers with money and want the attention. Bitch, that's what the fuck you doing, dummy. You been dealing with this shit for years. She only been here for a couple of months, fool. He fucking another bitch, seeing another bitch, Hit you, pissed on you, probably put shit down your throat, two girls in one fucking cup ass bitch, and you still there, dummy. You done got beat up by some other girl, tried to date some other nigga that looked like him, but went back to him. Bitch, you the one who lost your fucking moral, stupid. Girl, at the end of the day, you're just a fuck too. That's her man and that's your man. When both of y'all realize that, then girl, you will understand it. This man has not yet to stand up and defend you, girl. Not even when you got your ass beat. He was worried about the child. Not even you. So then Cuban come up and talk about she want to see the pictures of her and J.D. Young and recently. And girl, you still sleeping with him, but he call me every night and whoop, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And then here come Jordan. She's saying, girl, you lying. He on my account. Your number ain't on his call log. Pipe down, child. Yes, it is. Because if it wasn't on that girl, you wouldn't even said nothing. So obviously you seem to own this. So you want to make her look dumb publicly because she making you look dumb publicly. Because every time she do make you look a fool because she ends up in the picture with him or someone with that man. And then girl, 
know, you over here crying, talking about some you wanna fight. Child, hush, you got beat up. Anyway, they just go back and forth, back and forth, like always. Oh, both y'all just look dumb. Cuban then comes up and shows a picture of her with this guy with his face covered up and everybody's just like, oh, okay, so we just get in the arm. And then she gonna say, yeah, I'm not posting him right now because he wanted for a body. You just dry snitch, stupid. Because if they don't see his face, they see you, so they know where to meet this nigga. All they gotta do is look for the tattoo and say, oh, bitch, he with Cuban, you dummy. Oh my God, this is why these men be going with these little dumb heifers. Cause they just, they don't even know. Oh my God, you know what? And then why you over here fussing with her? If you got this man over here, at least you smart enough to have a backup plan because he over here doing what he want to do. That's what this little heifer need to do. Get her a backup plan too. And maybe, maybe if both y'all got backup plans and focused on your backups, y'all wouldn't worry about Jay and maybe he could move the fuck on too. At this point, all y'all need to have a big ass fucking orgy because that's what y'all doing anyway. All this damn bodily fluid is going from everywhere. Have y'all been tested? Jesus Christ. Whatever. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next one, okay? We got Lamar Odom versus Tristan Thompson. Now y'all, this is a kiki because first of all, y'all dated this woman and both y'all fucked up. So how both y'all gonna fuss when both y'all made a fucking mistake? So anyway, Mark Odom had decided to post a picture of Chloe, right? He posted her up on his page and he had said, I hide it. With all the eyes and these emojis, you know, when men do that, girl, they real, they really flirting. So Tristan took it upon himself to go up under that post and he said, God brought you back the first time, but if you want different results. And I'm just like, damn. How are you gonna talk about this man almost losing his life? That is just, <laughs> that's disrespect. All over a woman, nigga, you fucked up. And now you wanna wish death on this man again? I guess that you supposedly gonna do if he fuck with Chloe. Girl, you know what? Tristan, you're not about that life, sweetie. I just don't see it. So, honey, so after he posted that, the internet had things to say, and so Lamar Odom thought it was funny. He retweeted a person's comment saying, NBA Twitter watching Tristan Thompson pretend to play tough on Lamar Odom. And I was just like, oh shit, it's that motherfucking go dang. But if you really want to ask my opinion, I would rather her get with Lamar before she get back with Tristan because, honey, you took Tristan back, so now it's time for you to take Lamar back. Okay, Tristan tried to get with your little sister's best friend. So, bitch, at this point, give this man a second chance and see what happened, okay? Because what I'm not gonna do is play with somebody who came back from the dead. So, Tristan, you might want to watch out because you from Canada, sweetie. What the hell are you gonna do? <laughs> this man's the oracle, <laughs> okay? He gon' fuck you up. So anyway, Tristan Dean comes up and he makes an Instagram story post that says, Dear Lord, in a world of distractions, help us focus on you. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Don't bring God into this. <laughs> he, he didn't get you in this situation. Y'all kill me. Always wanted to bring God and y'all confusion. God and y'all's foolishness. But now you want to talk about God. How you gonna threaten somebody with death and then talk about Y'all will be ready. So, boy, I say go for it, girl, but it's all on you, so. Anyway, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Okay. Next one, okay? We have Ari versus Benji. So, Ari had to her Instagram and she posted a text message between them because I guess it didn't work behind the scenes. So, she's like, look, I'm gonna bring it to the scene. She said, you have been by far the worst I've ever worked with. She said, I was calling you, asking what was going on. You responded to me like, hey, I got this, it's under control. Don't worry about it. So, you know, time passed, no, nothing else was being said. So I'm assuming they had worked it out behind the scenes. So then he goes and he posts this right here with two pictures and I'm, everybody's thinking, oh, okay. They squashed it, they got everything together. Whoop, 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 she's good. Bullshit. Ari goes under that post, she says, why are you posting me? Don't post me. Where's my jumpsuit? Where's my outfit for Nikki's party? Where is my 5K? 
Where's my other dresses? Like, nigga, give me back my 18K. Because at this point, everybody's praising you, thinking that everything is good, but really it's not good. I'm talking about a situation where I sent $18,000 to a motherfucker, and I didn't get almost even half of my shit back. So worry about your fucking self. Don't worry about what the fuck going on over here. Why you even talking? Shut the fuck up. Pay me my money. And so, honey, she went the fuck off. She drug binges so bad, I even felt bad for bitches. Because it's like, now you're still in business, but you stole my money too. Allegedly. Okay? So, then, Benji tells her, there ain't no refunds. Nigga, bitch, you didn't give me my shit. So, give me my fucking money. What do you mean, no refund? I didn't even get shit, dummy. So, then she said, also, you want me to get shit back in blood. All right, gang. Now, when she said that, <laughs> bitch, you better run. Are you going to get this whole back of money? Because she coming for you. And when she comes, she going to come. When they say on gang, they putting on the gang. And they don't fuck about them. They don't fuck about that. Obviously, you don't. Know, you may be doing outfits for these hood niggas, they girlfriend celebrities, but you ain't in the hood and you ain't in the gang. So on gang, you better give her, her shit back. So I guess Benji was trying to ignore her behind the scenes. Like, oh, I'm that bad bitch. And act like shit was just gonna be sweet and swept under the rug. Baby, I was like, oh, I'm gonna show you how. She goes and she, <laughs> she posts a receipt. Bitch, it got this nigga account number, route number, name, everything. Oh, bitch, she dirty. <laughs> she dirty. <laughs> Is that, they can hack this man. And that's exactly what the fuck they did. her shit for her birthday, her corn. I can't sleep, hyper anxiety. But nigga, did you not think she had hyper anxiety wondering if her birthday outfit was gonna get there? Did she get scammed out her money? Bitch, she was going through it. That's why she was sending you those text messages over and over, stupid. So you know he put on his grandma sweetie said, I'm on oh, my grandma sweetie, I'm being lied on her. People know I don't lie about my grandma sweetie. Nigga, fuck you, bitch. We don't know about no grandma. I ain't never, we ain't never met grandma. I ain't talking to grandma. Grandma ain't made us no motherfucking devil eggs. I know pasta salad. No, grandma ain't made shit for us, so we don't know what grandma doing. Niggas lie on their mama, dad, homies, brothers, and sisters every day. What makes you any different? We don't know, granny. Anyway, so you put it on granny, whatever the case may be, woo, woo, woo. I don't know if Ari got her money. She probably did, because he probably scared that. But she told you she gonna get it back in blood on gang. And she said what she said, and she meant what she said. But you was trying to be tough, missy. And then you see what it is, fucking with us. Don't fuck with the black folks like they coin. Nigga said hyper anxiety and shit. Nah, bitch, you just shook. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Okay. All right, y'all. That's all I got for Messy Monday. Make sure you follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Like I always say, y'all sleep in the mess so we can talk about the mess because y'all keep Messy Monday going. And yeah, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I will see you next Monday. Next case. A whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on.